Hello traders, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting strategy for all our fellow traders out there. An intraday trading strategy using two very powerful and free indicators on TradingView. In this video, we will explore how to leverage these incredible tools to identify potential entry and exit points in the market, ultimately improving our trading performance. So in this video, I'll be revealing this strategy and showing you how to set it up. Trust me, it's perfect for 5-minute scalping, and it's incredibly accurate. And I'll also show you guys how to filter out some of the false signals, so stay tuned until the end. Okay, so let's get straight into it. It is important to note that this trading strategy can be applied to various markets, including cryptocurrencies, stocks, futures, and major forks pairs. The best time frames to use are 5 minutes and 15 minutes, although the strategy can also be effective on longer time frames, such as 1 hour and 4 hours. Currently, I am viewing the EURUSD chart in the 5 minute time frame. The trading method I'm about to show you consists of two free indicators. Alright let's first add the indicator to the chart. To add indicators, navigate to the indicators tab located at the top. In the search bar, type Gaussian channel. And select this first one, created by Donovan Wall. Click on it to add it to the chart. This indicator is a powerful tool used to analyze market trends and volatility. By plotting upper and lower bands around a moving average, the Gaussian channel enables traders to identify potential price breakouts or retracements. Its efficiency lies in its ability to adapt to changing market conditions, making it an ideal choice for intraday trading. Let's make some tweaks to this indicator to maximize our profits in the market. When you head over to the indicator settings panel, I recommend making a few adjustments. In the input section, you'll find various customization options, such as adjusting the channel's period or changing the tour range multiplier. Experiment with these options to find the settings that align with your trading style. For this strategy, we will set the sampling period at 180 and the polls at 5. And in the style section, I'll disable the bar color. Once you're done, click on OK to save the changes. This indicator is used to identify potential support and resistance levels, as well as to gauge market volatility. It is comprised of three lines. First, we have the median line, which is right in the center of the top and the bottom of the channel. This is typically a moving average, such as a simple moving average or an exponential moving average. And above the center line, we have an upper band. It is calculated by adding a certain number of standard deviations to the central line. And below the center line, we have a lower band. This is calculated by subtracting a certain number of standard deviations from the central line. The wider the bands, the higher the market volatility is considered to be. Conversely, narrower bands indicate lower volatility. Now let's understand the signals it provides. The Gaussian channel indicator utilizes the upper and lower bands to generate potential signals for entry and exit points. When the channel is green and the price reaches or breaks below the lower band, it may indicate an oversold condition presenting a buying opportunity. And as you can see, if we had entered the trade on this signal, we could have made good profits with the help of this one indicator. Conversely, when the channel turns red and the price reaches or breaks above the upper band, it may suggest an overbought condition, indicating a potential selling opportunity. If we had entered the trade based on this signal, we would have caught a huge market movement and made huge profits. However, keep in mind that confirmation from other technical analysis tools is advisable to avoid false signals. By using the second confirmation indicator, we will have a better chance of making a profit. Alright so let's add our second and final indicator, the CCI indicator. So click here on the indicators and type CCI in the search box, and then add it to the chart. Now go to the indicator settings, and in the input section, change the length from 20 to 30. The commodity channel index measures the current price level relative to an average price level over time. It helps identify overbought or oversold conditions in the market, indicating potential reversal points. If you don't know how the CCI indicator works, let me give you a short explanation. When this blue CCI line crosses these white horizontal lines on the downside, it indicates a sell signal. Similarly, a buy signal is generated when the CCI line crosses these white horizontal lines from bottom to top. Now that our indicators are set up, let's dive into our intraday trading strategy using the Gaussian channel indicator with the CCI. Let's begin with the rules for entering long positions. First, make sure the Gaussian channel is green, signaling a bullish trend. Next, keep an eye out for the CCI to drop below the minus 100 level and then start rising back above it. And here the CCI goes above the minus 100 level, which indicates a buy signal. Then look at the price action for further confirmation. If you look back a little here, you can see that the price rejects this level and moves up, which creates a support zone here. Presently, the price is responding positively to this level, forming a bullish candle. With these factors in mind, we can now enter a long position. We will open a long order at the closing of the current candle. You can place your stop loss just below the support level to manage risk effectively. And as for your target, aim for the most recent resistance level. 
Once we hit that target, it's always a good idea to trail your stop loss to maximize those profits. Here again, the CCI has crossed above the minus 100 level, indicating a buying opportunity. Additionally, the Gaussian channel is green, which confirms a bullish trend. If we look back, we can see a support level from where the price recently bounced. And currently, a bullish candlestick has formed, so now we can predict that the price is likely to rise again from here. With these factors in mind, we can now enter a long position. I set the stop loss just below the support level to manage risk effectively. And as for your target, aim for the most recent resistance level. And as you can see our stop loss is hit in this trade. Here again, the CCI has crossed above the minus 100 level, indicating a buying opportunity. Additionally, the Gaussian channel is green, which confirms a bullish trend. But if we look at the price action, we can see that the price has broken the recent support level. This could indicate a potential trend reversal, meaning the price might continue to decline in the near future. So, this buy signal is not valid. Let's look at some more examples. Now here the Gaussian channel turns red, indicating the beginning of a bearish trend. So now we will only look for selling opportunities on the CCI indicator. Here the CCI has dropped below the 100 level, indicating a selling opportunity. Additionally, the Gaussian channel is red, which confirms a bearish trend. But here if you look back at the chart, you can see that we have a resistance level that the price has recently broken. And now this resistance level may act as a support level, making it risky to take a short position here. So, this sell signal is not valid. Here again the CCI has dropped below the 100 level, indicating a selling opportunity. Additionally, the Gaussian channel is red, which confirms a bearish trend. However, the price is still above the support level and very close to it. If we were to enter a short trade now, our target would be the support level. In this scenario, our stop loss would be greater than our target. So it would be better to ignore such trades. Here again the CCI has dropped below the 100 level, indicating a selling opportunity. Additionally, the Gaussian channel is red, which confirms a bearish trend. And currently, a bearish candlestick has formed. If we look back, we can see a resistance level from where the price recently fell. So now we can predict that the price is likely to fall again from here. And our support level is well below here. With these factors in mind, we can now enter a short position. We will open a short order at the closing of the current candle. I set the stop loss just above the resistance level to manage risk effectively. As for the target, we will aim for the support level. Let's look at another example. Here again the CCI has dropped below the 100 level, indicating a selling opportunity. Additionally, the Gaussian channel is red, which confirms a bearish trend. And also, if you look back at the chart here, you can see that we have a resistance level. And currently, a bearish candlestick has formed. With these factors in mind, we can now enter a short position. We will open a short order at the closing of the current candle. I set the stop loss just above the resistance level to manage risk effectively. As for the target, we will aim for the support level. As I have already said, once the target is hit, you should trail your stop loss to maximize that profit. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope this video gave you valuable insights into intraday trading with the Gaussian Channel Indicator and the CCI. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from you. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. I wish you all lucrative trades and hope to see you in the next video.